Nestled in Western Canada, the Rocky Mountains are renowned for their breathtaking natural beauty and majestic landscapes, making them a must-see destination for any traveler. But as always, there's always a darker side to these mountains. They've gained a reputation as a hotspot for mysterious and strange creatures that are said to lurk in the woods. Oh my gosh. In May 2024, a trucker was picking up equipment near the Sunchild First Nation Reservation early in the morning when it was still a bit dark. And just moments before he arrived at the station, this shit happened. Pay close attention. A massive, humanoid creature appears to be hiding in the woods as the trucker makes a turn. Whatever this being is, it seems caught off guard, standing still in hopes of not being noticed. And when the trucker stops to load the equipment and gets out, it seems that's when the trucker actually spots it. Terrified, he bolts back to his vehicle and speeds away as fast as he can. After the video was uploaded to Sonny Vader's YouTube channel, it quickly went viral, with many viewers claiming the creature must be at least 11 feet tall. I'm not entirely sure if this is genuine or not, but if we slow down and replay the footage, it appears the creature's eyes might be glowing like an animal in the night. If that's the case, it's very possible that this could be the real deal. When it comes to odd and unexplained phenomena in the sky, it doesn't end there. On April 3rd, 2024, a TikTok account called Texas Ghost Hunters captured something truly bizarre. While filming a stunning sunset, they suddenly noticed a peculiar pattern in the sky. Did you catch that? If you look closely, it appears there's a luminous pattern on the clouds. Almost like there are hundreds of buildings reflecting the sunlight. Now this could be a Fata Morgana, an illusion, a mirage, or something else entirely different. Now whatever this anomaly is, I've never seen anything quite like it. It was strange, right? But it gets even weirder. Over the last few months, there has been a rise in unexplained sightings of objects and unusual phenomena in the sky. Even with the prevalence of phone cameras, it remains uncommon to record a high quality video. Oh my God, what is that? Me contem o que vocês acham que é isso. Acabamos de ver okay. un fenómeno eh, en el en cielo y no sabemos qué es. ¿Omis? Whatever these items may be, it's not unusual to spot orbs of light or strange objects far off in the distance. Often, we catch a glimpse of something unexplainable, some anomaly that leaves us baffled. But rarely do we ever witness these phenomena up close. However, recently, Something truly bizarre occurred in Iran, an event that has sent shockwaves across the internet. On May 25th, 2024, numerous people in Iran's capital reported seeing a strange object hovering just above the city. 
This mysterious sighting was witnessed by many across Tehran, and soon after, videos of the object began surfacing on social media. Here's one of the earliest clips that was uploaded. In the distance, a glowing green object comes into view. And as the camera zooms in, it's clear that this isn't a helicopter or a plane. It's something else entirely. And at first, I was skeptical. It looked way too much like something straight out of a movie. But after digging deeper, I found multiple videos from others who claimed to have captured the exact same thing on camera that night. <laughs> The same glowing object is visible again, but this time, hovering in the distance. Whatever it is, it's captured the attention of the entire internet. Some people are convinced that the videos are fake or CGI, pointing out that the zoom in the first video seems a bit unnatural. <laughs> But in other clips, the zoom looks perfectly normal to me. So I'm on the fence on that one. Others have commented, suggesting this might actually be real, especially given how many different angles the object was filmed from. Some have even speculated that it could be Project Blue or just a drone, which does make some sense. But honestly, I'm still unsure. I'll leave this one up to you guys to decide. In September 2022, a father and his son were enjoying a sunny afternoon in Argentina when they suddenly spotted something unusual in the sky. Something that just didn't make sense. Here's what they managed to capture on camera. No sé qué hacer. This mysterious object hovers in the same spot above the neighborhood for several minutes, clearly capturing the family's attention. No, no, me voy a acercar, no. After the video was posted online, it quickly racked up thousands of views and hundreds of comments. While some people think it might just be a plastic bag or something similar, many others are convinced it could be an angel, a ghost, or even a mystical entity like a djinn. I might lean toward the plastic bag theory if, if not for the fact that the object remains perfectly still for several minutes. I mean, a plastic bag or a balloon will be moving in the wind, right? And also, if you watch closely, it seems to change shape at times. So what exactly is this? What if I told you that, for some mysterious reason, that there's been a surge of videos trending on social media in the past few months, showing similar phenomena happening across the United States. Rinse my watermelon before I cut it, and it's like pinning. Well, in a recent video posted just a few days ago by Gabriel Neal's makeup, we see what appears to be the skin of a watermelon peeling away. Like, does anybody has problems with their watermelon like this? And after Gabriella posted a video on TikTok, the shit went viral, amassing millions of views and sparking a lot of curiosity. People were beginning to ask whether this is supposed to be happening or not. While some believe the watermelon might be fake, 
or genetically modified. Others think it could be due to freezing, which does make some sense. But even if that's the case, it doesn't end there. It sounds like a goat is dying. For some unknown reason, there's been a surge of videos showing what appears to be fake or rubbery food, and there's still little explanation for what's happening. For example, check out this video that was uploaded by Ka on TikTok. So I cut watermelon for my kids, and they're all bringing it right back, saying they don't like the texture. And I've seen enough videos of people posting rubbery watermelon. I can't believe I got one. I got a rubbery watermelon. The texture is so weird. Like, you gotta bend it so far before it will break. <sighs> With the prices, this is like an $8 watermelon. They're not going to eat it. They won't eat it. They think it tastes the texture. It's rubber. Strange, right? But it gets even weirder than this. As I dug deeper into the topic and searched for more videos and information, this food phenomena only got creepier. I found videos of watermelons that look like plastic and also came across this unsettling video posted by user 74212 on TikTok. Check this shit out over a week ago uh, it smelled really good bought it from cut it open and it was like plastic tasting it was absolutely horrible uh, I didn't really know what to do with it so I threw it outside this is a week later it looks like it looks like mud uh, what's going on now I looked for an explanation and found a user suggesting that if fruit isn't ripe and is stored incorrectly before being put into coolers it can mess up the fruit and that does make some sense but does it explain why so many people are experiencing this or why watermelons look like this just after a week in the sun yeah, it's pretty unsettling but here's where things take a darker turn it's not just the watermelon this is a very good <laughs> there's been a surge of videos showing other types of food like avocados, chicken, and more that appear to be fake or rubbery. That she opened the banana that she thinks that these are not real bananas. We got it from the supermarket, but when she opens it and she breaks it in half, it gets very tough and doesn't really break. And if, when it pulls, it's like it's glue. It's very tight and doughy. I've never ever seen a banana like that. I don't know if it's just our banana or if it's this brand, but at the end of the day, it looks very, very fake. First of all, look at this. Regular fish. Supposedly. Regular fish. But look. Look at the I texture. It, my finger makes an indent like a sponge. And then I did this. Squeeze. Just, squeeze, 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 squeeze. I squeeze it as hard as I could and look, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Looks like a wet napkin. Fall apart at all. And then watch this. Absorbed the water and went back to the original some shape. Water and it reabsorbed everything and it's back to normal. That's not Um I gave my daughter a bowl of blueberries. Um, I take what's left in her little bowl and I put it down the drain for the garbage disposal. And I push the button, um, you know, it's doing its thing, but there's a clanking and it sounds like something's stuck. So I go in the drain and there's a blueberry that's not breaking apart, it's not... I pick it up and... Why is there a rubber blueberry? in my toddler's snack. You can see it that well. Glisteny, it's silicone. It's a silicone blueberry. Yo, the deeper I dive into this, the creepier it became. In a video posted by Raquel Martinez 2011, she uses a unique method to test the food before buying it. And what she discovers is truly shocking. Put a magnet that I got from here. 
chicken. Martina sticks a magnet into a chicken breast, and to her surprise, it actually sticks. Some people think this might indicate the presence of metal in the chicken, while others suggest it could be due to suction from the water and plastic. That is a possibility, but here's the thing. Millions of people are already consuming fake food in China, US, and other places. For example, there are videos showing how fake eggs and meat are made. So. The big question everyone is asking right now is whether we're eating fake food or not. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on this. Personally, I order my meats from ButcherBox. They're not sponsoring me at all for this video, so... Your local farms is your best bet, especially if you're in the US. But let me know, have you seen anything like this before? In October 2022, Dale Hancar and his wife, Colleen, we're relaxing on Okanagan Lake in Canada on an unusually hot day. Everything seemed perfect until their friend, Mina Jermaine Brown, who was sailing with them, spotted something that looked like a monster-like creature that was emerging from the water. She quickly grabbed her camera, but accidentally took a still photo instead of recording a video. This is what she captured. Now at first glance, it appears to be a bird, possibly a duck, diving for a fish in the water. However, upon closer inspection, it seems like we might be seeing the creature's eyes and teeth. After posting the picture online, it went viral, with many suggesting it could be the Ogopogo, a legendary snake-like monster said to inhabit Okanagan Lake. Now some might argue that this is just a case of pareidolia, a coincidence, or even a floating plastic bag. But given the numerous reports of Okapogo sightings in the lake, you know, it's very possible that Dale and Colleen might have captured something extraordinary that sunny ass day. With the advancement of technology, we've started to question ideas that once seemed completely outlandish. Like for example, the USB drive. When I was younger, I remember my parents saying that they never imagined that they'd be able to store books, movies, and music on a single device. And not only is it possible, but these drives can now hold more in 2024. Digging deeper into technology reveals a fascinating rabbit hole of possibilities. In the, ne in the next video, a seagull seems to be emitting some kind of electrical current. A similar phenomenon is shown in a video posted by Sam Sophia 179 on TikTok. These unexplained occurrences, amongst others, have led many to speculate that our reality might be glitching out for some mysterious reason. So and one of the most intriguing and often overlooked aspects of technology is the simulation theory. See, in 2003, Nick Bostrom proposed that we might be living in a digital simulation that was created by a higher intelligence. A theory that would have sounded absurd just a few decades prior, but is now gaining traction. With our expanded knowledge of computers and digital technology, more and more people are beginning to entertain this idea that we might be living in a digital simulation, much like what's depicted in a lot of our sci-fi movies. If this is true, 
and we are living in some kind of matrix. There might be evidence of it. Perhaps even these videos that are capturing these anomalies. Recently, I stumbled upon an Instagram account that's been generating a lot of buzz. The person behind the account claims to perform feats straight out of sci-fi movies, like those seen in Avatar. All right, let's see if I can really push this. Uh, mm, all right. All right, you're good. The individual behind the account claims to have the ability to control the four elements and says he's been training to master them since childhood. In this video, he demonstrates his supposed power to control the wind, arguing that it's more than just a coincidence. Mm, all right. In this video, he claims to harness the power of chi to control the wind and create waves on the lake. Initially, and even kind of now, I was skeptical and so was much of the internet. But he did follow up with a second video that caught everyone's attention. Check this shit out. Did you notice that? If you look closely, it appears he's controlling the leaves he's pointing at, while the others around it remain completely still. Even more intriguing, when he gestures for them to come to him, they actually do. And what's happening here? Even though I wish for something like this could be true, there's just no way people were convinced of this video being real online. But it got so much views, I had to show it to you guys. Watch. So, you see the guy that's going in there? <laughs> yeah. Just watch right here. This last clip comes from a TikToker known as Charlie K. To where they're showing us something unexplainable on some home cam footage. So, you see the guy that's going in there? <laughs> yeah. Just watch right here. And that's it. Like, my God. I don't have much to say on this one. Since I've heard things such as an electrical outlet could have possibly discharged and shot him out the house. While others were saying that this man definitely got folded by some demons. I'm not too sure on this one, guys. Let me know what you think about it. Thanks for showing up today, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below as well, especially on what I should cover next. My name's Michael, I'm signing off, and remember everybody, yo, be safe.